Hey, Tom. Hi, but you can use the bell. Oh. Oh, it doesn't work. Yes, it does. All right, what's up, Tom? All right, come on in to the museum, TBA Wine Bottle, Wine Bottle Museum. Yes, yes. And uh, we're going into the champagne room. Oh, yes, yeah, first place? Yeah, champagne. Come on, here. Champagne room. Okay. This is the champagne room. Yes. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. And this is your bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? Wow. How many um, bottles do you have? Oh, here? I have 8,000 in the whole place. Here's a 1929 sparkling burgundy. 1929. I got a lot of old things here. It's great, you know? Here's a wine called Van Fu. Very famous by Henry Henri Mayer, his name is. All right, come with me. Come on with me. This is uh, the Mea Pataka. It's a very famous uh, tourist restaurant in Italy. That's the, this, is, this is about 30 years, 40 years old. All right. This is Ray Capitanini with me. At, uh, this is written in the Sh Chicago Tribune about me. There's three ways to re select a restaurant wine. Was easy way, the hard way, and the crazy way. I picked the crazy way. All right, come on. Now, uh, that's my father in Rome. Believe it or not, father in Rome. Okay. Now, come on, we'll go to the Rhone Valley now. Yeah, Rhone Valley. Uh, here's the Rhone Valley. All the Chateauneuf de Pops that you can think of. Right there. A lot of them, believe me. Over here, Bocastel. Here's my uh, elephant shotgun. What's this? We shoot elephants with this. What's this for you? Oh yeah, this is uh, mm, the greatest, the greatest uh, vinegar you ever mm. wanted. Fifteen gallons worth. Oh, this is my feather duster. When women come here, they say, "Who dusts them?" So I go like this, but I say, "Lady, I clean them because you can't clean the." The shows. And then, of course, uh, the men say, Did you drink all these wines? Yes, I drank a city. All right, now, this is a little bit of Ridge. See Ridge? You see Ridge? And there's Ridge. And Ridge. And there's millions and more down there. It's incredible. Heights, BV, Stag's Leap. I mean, you know, I have no room more for uh, these different things. And then um, I did have the first bottle of Rioniti Lambrusco. A sample. Where the hell did I put it? Uh, I guess it's not. It's it's inside the uh, cabinet. I don't know. All right, come over here for a minute now. Here's uh. By the way, this is a map of Chateau Neuf de Pop. <laughs> Very interesting. Chateau Neuf de Pop, Lirac, uh, Tavel, Chateau Forcha. This is some of the uh, uh, Italian, uh, Italian, California. Burgundies, and Burgundies, California wines, I should say. And this is the piano. Look, look at this. Can you believe it? I can't give you anything but love, baby. And how about this one? The night they invented champagne. And then this one, my favorite song. Thank heaven for little girls. They go up so nicely, you know. And then... You know what that is, don't you? <laughs> Bob Hope on his 90th birthday. He flew from New York to San Francisco, op went to the St. Francis Hotel, opened a drawer, and he found Tony Bennett's heart. <laughs> <laughs> I left my heart in San Francisco. And then. New York, and we're going to the 
Roma, non fa la stupida stasera. That means Rome, don't be stupid tonight, will you please? And that's Rome. You'll hear this song, believe me, many, many times. We gotta play, uh, what's his name? Bill Clinton's theme song. Don't blame me. <laughs> For falling in love with you. How about this one? You know, my act goes continues, you know. Right. Look at these burgundies. Wow. Yep. Le Corton. You have Le Font, L'Enfant de Jesus. Corton Charlemagne. Chevalier Monarche. Look, look, look. Over here. Corton. Another Corton. A Charm Chambertin. Look at this stuff. Unbelievable. Main Chambertin. So what I came over here. You see this area here? These are the burgundies put in order. You can see Moussigny in about five vintages going back to 1949 up there, Moussigny. And you see over here, you took pictures of these. Remember you took it for Ernie, mm -hmm. Latash and whatever. Yeah. And the Romani Conti, which you don't have, which is down there. And so anyway, I'm going to redo this whole thing, okay? Because over here, oh, I do, I, I already did it, only, you know. These are the Mon Rocher, look, Le Mon Rocher, like uh, $6,000 a case, right here. Mon Rocher, Le Mon Rocher, Le Mon Rocher. 
not just Mont Rouge. And uh, here's the German area, a little bit of German. And then more German is right here, right in back of the television set. Look, Burkassel Adopter, all the great Burgundies. Those are New York State wines up there. There's more German wines here. Look, look at all these German wines. Go across the top there. All German. Amazing how I got them, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Come on over here. I can tell you the story, but you don't have time. Oh, by the way, I have some cheap white wine and cheap red wine. Yeah, I, it's pretty good stuff, by the way. I'm not. You think I'm shitting you, right? Anyway. And then uh, these are the Italian. This is the Italian area here. Oh, this is me in the army. <laughs> Isn't that a great show? That's when I was, well, anyway. Oh, yeah, let me show you this. This is a bottle of Chateau Chalon. This is not a Jewish wine. This is a wine that's white wine that must be aged in wood for six years in, in, in this area, in France. Chateau Chalon, very famous. It's like a sherry. You know, it's very, very good. And uh, then you have another bottle of this is the palier, means uh, straw wine, from the same producer. And I can go on and on and on. And um, over here, come on over here. We got all the, this is my friend Giovanni's wines. He makes Barbaresco, he makes Barbera, he makes Nebbiolo, he makes Solcetto. And over here is the Mon uh, Monsanto, and about uh, 20 vintages practically. Right here, uh, right here, Monsanto. See? Oh, you know what this is? You you remember this? This is the Piazza of Guarno. This is my piazza. You're gonna see it. You're gonna be there. And then, uh, let's see. What else can I tell you? A Chateau Petrus. This is in the kitchen now. Petrus. 1955, 1961, 1960, 73, 79. Pope Rion, 1924. Hello. Right there. You don't believe it? Here it is. <laughs> 1924. And then this one here is, what year is that? 1947. Look, see, right there. Can you believe this? This is a china closet that's about at least 70 years old. And in here are unbelievable bottles of, here's a bottle of Martel Cordon Bleu, 35 years old, bottled in 1933. So it goes back to 1898. See it? And we have some left. I haven't opened it yet. This is the evaporation, by the way. And I got old, old cognacs, and I could go on forever. Here's something. Look at this. <laughs> Pure rye whiskey, right? Bottled a uh, spring of 1916. Right? Uh, you know what it says here? For medicinal purposes only. <laughs> this is during the repeal, you know, be, be in the prohibition. And I got a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, all these whiskeys and stuff. Oh, here. Here's a, I'll show you two things. This is the first sample of Rioniti Lambrusco, when it wasn't called Rioniti. First sample I brought in from the United States. See on top? So you know what I did? After I left Banffy, I made my own Lambrusco. <laughs> Lambruschello. <laughs> that doesn't have, that doesn't have a, a, an appellation. Interesting, huh? Yeah. yeah. Ah, I, got, I got so many things that are interesting here. You ever hear of uh, Old Overhaul? Mm -mm. It's very famous. You have it in the store, by the way. Fall of 1932. <laughs> 32. <laughs>